guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 19 of No Guns Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> no, he's killing him. Instead, Flashback. Oh my god, you can do opening. There's gotta be a flashback in this because what I'm hoping for, I mean, to make the most sense, like, I want backstory on this. I need context. I don't want just words on the screen. I want flashbacks in this episode. Go back and forth between the past and the present. So, I mean, because, like, mm, that's all. My baby still with his ish and, hmm. I don't think we're going to get that until the last four episodes of this show. And so I feel like this show is going to end. Because by next week we'll be on 20. Um, in a really weird cliffhanger. Like, -esque. I don't know why. But it's just the way we're going as like an anime only person. It just seems like that could happen. And I mean, I'm not really going to read the manga until after the show is over. And I might just either read it from wherever episode 24 ends or I make you smart and just read the whole thing from the beginning because I'd rather do that so that I can just see everything from the beginning and then be like okay here's where the anime ended and this is where I need to continue but it just depends Want to talk about it with Mary? I mean, please, you, you need to. Ow, I just like scratch the crap out of myself. But then sh mm, should happen. I, I could be able to switch for him. Maybe he hung around or something.
And why did you abandon me? I mean, but like, but did they have to like catch her? Like, mm, not kind of not like that. Like, that's a little fucked up. I mean, he's not a harm to society or anyone else. Well, I mean, no, because at that time they said they kind of were. So I'm guessing you wanted to find him to just rekindle that friendship. Aww. Seems like he's not one person to stay in one place for so long. He probably does. Ain't that funny? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, you just have to sit and talk to him yourself. Yeah. Like Victor? Of course, that one would be one as well. Did a what? Like weird compilation or something like that? Yeah. But the thing is, why though? Maybe that could be the reason why what's his face left and started that rebellion group. Oh, Emma.
To think that they would treat them like shit even after that fucking sucks. They were like slaves to them. But it has to be true, right? The fact that you're kind of avoiding that conversation lies you down. You change. You do stuff for the better. <laughs> but you were curious, and that's okay. Everyone's curious about something. own path, not from your previous memory. Mm -hmm. See, so now I feel like he ain't going to tell it's just Spitzbergen no matter what. Oh, it's the guy. Oh, yeah, the guy from the first half. We haven't seen him in, like, how long? Oh. <gasps> Finally, oh my god. <laughs> I thought these two were never going to come back. Oh my god, stuff is so cute. I love her. They wait until the last five episodes of this show to finally bring these two up and to finally talk about these two again.
I mean, you would think just with that line that he just said, I thought he was just immediately going to kill him right then and there. Okay, so what if Lawrence was the guy who worked with Juzo? Mm -hmm. So Lawrence was the golden child in the first. And so now he's like a burden, even with the fact that he's still alive and he has him. Oh. I want to know, well, no, because that could be due to old age, but. Look at his neck. His neck looks so young while his face looks so old. So I'm wondering, what the heck you did?
That's the only reason why they want them to do it. Of course they're going to take them. You are in there, aren't you? You mother of Oh my God. Like, it gets so good and then they end it. And so, you know what? With this opening, it makes sense because they have to fight no matter what the like. And only in order for him to release this ultimate power, Seven also has to help. Uh, okay. I'm a little biased on this episode. It felt, the pacing felt a little bit slow. I want to say maybe towards the second half, but like, the first half was good. The context of getting in and everything, I loved it. But I was expecting that they would have showed Tetsuro, like, literally, you know, merging into freaking Juzo's body and then taking his body up to it and not being like, okay, here's a scene with Juzo and Tetsuro's body. And, like, mm, we're walking up there. And then, bam, they meet up with Spetsbergen and Ish. I mean... Uh, it's just going to get worse. And Mary probably doesn't know anything about this. So what in the world is Mary going to do? How is she going to find out? Um, I feel like Victor's still going to be having like something to do with these last four episodes now. Um, same thing with Seven and Pepper and their assignment. So hopefully we get to see more of that next week. But still, like, oh, I, I can't even imagine what they're going to do to him. But especially with the flashback stories and the context of like they were literally we all knew that they were weapons but they also treated them like slaves they put them in chains and everything are you freaking kidding me and the fact that the one partner that Juzo was working with literally you know sympathized with him and eventually let him go but then now we found out that Juzo was the one who killed literally all nine of the other, you know, gun slave units and the fact that there's only four left and we've met those four. So I feel like not only are Seven and Juzo going to be popping up, the other two that we've met are also going to make an appearance in these last four episodes. I mean, they have four episodes to wrap this show up. But I mean, like I said, at the beginning of this episode, I still feel like they're going to end the show on a weird behind open ending cliffhanger to the point where it's like, hey, if you truly, really want to know what in the world is going to happen next, which, of course, I do, because this show is very underrated as hell, and it's really good, and it's sad to the fact that, like, when the first half of this show came out, like, everybody was watching the crap out of this show, but because of the second half wasn't coming out until later on until this year, um, and because of the fact is it got delayed, and not that many people were really excited about this, yeah, it's more like on the down low, a lot of people are talking about this. A lot of people know about it and stuff. So, I mean, mm, I don't really know. I'm a little skeptical about what's going to happen in these final four episodes. What we're going to find out as the truth. And especially what we're going to see with both Tetsuro and Juzo together. And what they're capable of. And then possibly the fight with Juzo and Seven. And how that's going to go. I mean, it's still a lot of things. It's four episodes, but still something's gonna happen and it's not gonna be good but other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episode 19 of no guns life if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode 20 bye guys